Our next entrepreneur is someone who's done just that. Dairy woman Grania Kelly's professional background is in the travel industry, and it was through foreign travel with her family that Grania came up with the idea for the product that launched her company, the company she's pitching today. My name is Grania Kelly, and I am the founder and CEO of Bubble Bum. I came up with the idea for Bubble Bum when I was traveling with my own kids. And every time I arrived to the car rental desk at the airport, they didn't have the car booster seat, even though I had pre-booked it in advance. So I decided that I need to come up with an idea of a product that was both inflatable and deflatable, therefore portable and packable. The three main barriers to booster seat use are Number one, inconvenience for parents. So if you're trying to travel with a heavy, rigid, bulky car booster seat, it's very difficult. The second main barrier to booster seat use is actually the resistance of children to ride on a baby seat. Well, Bubble Bum is actually for big kids. It's not for babies. The third main barrier to booster seat use is the cost. It can cost you between seven and 11 euro per day to rent a car booster seat. So we're actually selling at the moment in 26 countries and we have recently launched in Walmart stores across the US. Last year we had a turnover of $2 million. And what I'm looking for from the Dragons today is 200,000 euro in exchange for 5% of the company. So thank you very much for listening and I look forward to your questions. Grania has been churning out some pretty big numbers. While her turnover is impressive, so is the sum she's requesting. €200,000 is a lot to hand over. But Barry isn't just worried about the money. Hi, Grania. I'm Barry. Hi, Barry. What about safety? And I'm thinking in particular of, you know, safety when you get hit from the side. Mm -hmm. A backless booster seat does not provide the side impact protection. However, it is for an older child. And what we realise is that there are more children travelling with no booster seat at all. And your child is actually 59% safer when they're riding with the correct restraint than with using a vehicle seat belt alone. Hi, Gronia. I'm Gavin. Well, with your sales, you've certainly got my interest. So just uh, talk me through when the product first launched. We launched in December of 2009 online. And that was really only aimed at the Irish market. And then in February, March of 2010, we launched an independent retail stores, really in the UK mainly. And I then moved to America for a year to get the product ready for the US market. So within that year, we were, we were actually launching every month into another country. So within 24 months, we were in 24 countries. Hi, Gronje. Hi, Peter. Nice to see you again. Uh, folks, just so you know, Gronje was my travel agent uh, many years ago. I know nothing about her business. Cool. So, I notice in the back here it says patent pending. It's not, the patent has been granted in a number of different regions. It has been granted in the US at the moment. It has been granted in New Zealand and there are a number of other areas within Europe that it has been granted. Okay, thanks Grania. Peter's jet setting schedule has provided Grania with business in the past. But are any dragons going to write a cheque for her today? Eamon is up next. I have to say, we often see uh, products here in the den that have uh, an idea and uh, sales about to arrive, but I mean, two million sales is a fantastic achievement. Thank you. Um, what does the company look like now? I mean, how many people are involved? What sort of profits are you making? Well, there are six of us presently in the company, and for the turnover last year was two million, and we reinvested everything to invest in the growth of the business, specifically for this Walmart launch. Okay. And for this year, we, will have, we expect to turn over 3 million this year with a profit of 100,000. And the following year, we expect to turn over in excess of 4.5 million with a profit of 400,000. Grania can really identify with this. Um, we have a booster seat, um, but it's very, very stiff and it has the armrests. But it's very light. Okay. Does it fit under your handbag this size? No, it doesn't, no. That's it deflated. Okay. Can I see the packaging? Just like the packaging looks really interesting. Do you need to pass them along? My final question for you, Grania, is what does it retail at in Ireland? Retails at €34.99. Euro. Okay. Grania, I mean, you've done an amazing job, right? Just building a global business. Fantastic. Why are you in Dragon's Den and 
have you talked to other investors about investing in what's a really great business? I can get cash. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for people who can help us with our marketing. I'm looking for people who can help us who have got relationships with the media. We have a board at the minute and within our board we don't actually have anybody who have those skills and I think that that is imperative that we get those skills on board really quickly. Talk to me about the, the current shareholding of, of, your, of your company. Mm -hmm. I own 62.5%. Mm -hmm. Then we have a 5% share option pool for the employees and then the remainder is owned by uh, uh, Angel Investors and Invest NI. Grania, I'm an engineer. I have no experience in consumer products. Sounds like you're already covered there. I'm out. Thank you. So Barry drops out. Grania is looking for marketing assistance, but she's also looking for money. Eamon Quinn wants to know what her plans are for the investment. Talk us through what you're going to do with the 200,000. It's for product development and for marketing. And for the product development, we have a second product, which is nearing completion and a third product in the pipeline at the moment. So we want to expand the brand. If I'm investing 200,000 in a company, I think I really would feel I'd have to add a lot of value to it. Um, I just don't know enough about this business and I'm, I don't know enough about marketing to kids, so I'm out. Thank you. My main concern, okay, is the actual breakdown of the shareholding. The investment of 200,000 euro, I think I'd be looking for a lot higher percentage than what you possibly would be willing to give me. And I don't think I would have the input that I would really like to have um, on the product going forward. So, very reluctantly, I'm out. Okay, thank you, Ramona. I am concerned about the equity. Um, have you flexibility on the equity? What are you thinking about, Peter? I would like 10% equity. Um, and if you hit your targets, I'll consider reducing the equity to 7.5%. So Grania has an offer from Peter Casey. But if she's looking for marketing skills, there's an obvious dragon still left in the game. See, Grania, as all my colleagues here to my uh, left know, I've never done a deal of 5% or 10%. You know, for, for the type of commitment I give on top of the cash, you know, it's, um, it just has to be better than that. If, if you were interested in having me on board, what's the maximum percentage you'd give? You must have had that figure in your mind as well. The, ma before. the maximum percentage is seven and a half. Seven and a half. That's okay. the maximum percentage. So you're going to reject Peter's ten. But to write a cheque for 200,000 for seven and a half percent for what I would bring to uh, the party, uh, Nah, it's, it's just not enough to do it for me, so... Grania, I'm going to declare myself out. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not prepared to do it at seven and a half, but I will throw you a little curved ball for you to think about. So I will offer you the 200,000 for the 5%, but I want a 50 cent uh, per bubble bum sold until I get my money back and then my equity drops to two and a half percent. So really effectively what you're offering is a loan to the company well, because you want the money back? Well, give so me a counter offer. I would accept 200,000 for 7.5% with no royalty. So the last offer, 5%, 25 cent royalty. I'll drop the 2.5% two, two when it's paid off. Can I take a moment to think about that? Of course you can. The deal Peter's offering isn't what Grania was expecting, but will the carrot of the 200,000 euro be enough to tempt her to sign up? Peter, I'm afraid that's actually not going to work for the company. Essentially, I would be accepting a loan into the company, albeit with your expertise. However, that is at a higher cost, again, to the company than what we've already been offered. If you're not prepared to accept that offer, then... I'm afraid I might. Okay. Thank you, Peter. Thanks, Grania. Grania and Peter part as friends, but not as partners. I think it's a great idea. It's a great idea. I think she'll do well. She's unbelievable. Fantastic.